Hello again. We are back. I have slept since the previous episode. So let's get started. Anthropos. All corrupted. Good luck translating that. I'm not sure how to translate that yet. Could be hex codes. Who knows? The Folly of Time from 42 Tales by Athena... Yeah, Athen... Athanasios, I suppose. The spirit of time was angry at Stretna Sajira, for the old philosopher had asked questions that were forbidden. If man is no more than dust, it said to him, then I shall turn you back to dust, and my winds will disperse you to the far corners of the world. Thus you will be nothing, and your questions will trouble me no more. And so time did, and Stretton of Sajira was nothing. But Stretton's voice did not cease, and time was perplexed. All across his domain it searched for Stratton, yet he was nowhere to be found. Only his books remained, and of these men made copies, and Stratton's voice grew louder. Now time was furious, but Stratton laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> From Matku to Athena. Dear Athena, Byron once asked me why we seem unable to perceive the dam. I asked him what he meant, and he said that people cannot seem to really grasp the dam was an object, or the dam as an object. They can be moved by the sight of a mountain or a gorge, but the dam seems insignificant to them. Look at it, he told me. Just look at it and try to understand that people made that. Try to really see it. It took me a while to fully understand what he meant. It takes conscious effort to open one's mind to the ecstatic beauty that is hidden in every human accomplishment, and further conscious effort to maintain his, this ability. If only we were capable of seeing this beauty by default, the world might be a very different place. But it seems the ancients had the same problem. Why am I writing this to you? You may not even be reading these messages. Because today is one of those days when it feels like I'm the only one who still sees that beauty. I tried talking about it to Lenerx, but while I admire her principles, she isn't open to a more poetic experience. Or perhaps I just express myself awkwardly. I don't know. All I know is that it's hard to see something so beautiful and not be able to sh share it. Respectfully, Mitku. Yeah. Alright, onward I suppose. The music changes all of a sudden for some reason. Is this a new song? I don't remember if we heard it last episode. Puzzle 3, Permeability. Oh, and there goes the music changing all on its own again. Why does it keep changing the music instead of just letting the song finish? I don't understand. Right, that needs power to activate it, though. there. Alright. Let's chain them together and get this barrier down. Wait, what is this? Excuse me? What is that symbol right now? Is that a ladder? Why- why is there a ladder symbol? <laughs> why- why is the ladder something that can be activated? Um. What does that even mean? Hmm... Well, anyway... Oh no, I guess it's the barrier symbol? Yeah, okay, I guess I guess that's the symbol they use for these these barrier fields. What is it derived from though? Is it based on the shape of this? Uh maybe? Huh. Yeah. 
There we go. Now you are free. And then now what do you want to do? I guess put this inside here, right? And something like... Put it there so we can chain it. Yep, that seems about right. There we go. Problem solved! I must admit, these truly are astonishing sights. But what on earth is any of it good for? Why not just let mountains be mountains? I think you said it yourself, it's good for being astonishing. <laughs> well, here is something to keep in mind for later. Alright. On... Wait, which side is it on, though? What color do we need here? Uh... Where is the receiver for this? somewhere else entirely? I'm not seeing a receiver anywhere on here. Wasn't that perplexing. Hmm. Alright, well, onward we shall continue, I suppose. Classic vehicle. The ancient ve this ancient vehicle expresses a stronger sense of aesthetics than most other artifacts of this type, suggesting that at some point in ancient history, vehicle design was approached with a different mentality. <laughs> okay. Game developer said no. Let's head to puzzle number four. What are you called? Conveyance. Ooh, we got one of those moving platforms now as well. Yeah, that has it selected. Okay. That's good there. We want to move this to overlap both of them, I think. There we go. That'll work. Now it's bootstrapped in a way. Hmm. We need one in there, apparently. Wait, are these gates that can lower? Yes. Okay, these gates can lower. Interesting. That is a connector, that's very useful. Let's, let's get that then.
There we go. Don't need to get anything else in there anymore. Right, so. How exactly do we want to do this? Because we need that gate to lower as well, right? Pretty sure that's another gate. I bet we want to put this on top of that. That'd be my guess. Wait, but that one's red, doesn't it? How do we get red? Right, the universal activator can activate it. Duh. Okay. Let's see here. First of all, let's do this, I suppose. Let's get this party on the road. Party started. Yep, there you have it. Oh, I guess that's it. I guess we're done now, right? <laughs> There's something satisfying about this. Oh, whoops. Apparently gotta stop it at just the right time. Here, bounce off of this, please. I don't want to have you go all the way back. There you go, thank you. I guess I just need to take it off, then. Yeah, that's probably all I need to do. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, let's bootstrap this. We don't need the jammer on this anymore. Wait, what happened there? Did I put it in the wrong spot? Oh, I just didn't take the jammer late enough. Oh, I can jam this? I hadn't even considered that. There we go. <laughs> That's an interaction I didn't think of. I only discovered that on accident because they tried to put it down. Yeah, I was just trying to put it down and it selected that because of the giant hitbox for it. That's a beautiful sight. I'm guessing this is a triangle puzzle over here. Ooh, I love that part of the music. Yep, triangle puzzle two to three. gates here? Really? Huh. Never considered that these barriers might be called gates. Maybe maybe that's why they use a symbol that kind of looks like a gate almost, or a fence or whatever. I mean, it looks really looks like a ladder to me, doesn't it? I swear it looks like a ladder. <laughs> It to where he... Oh, that's probably the third. Yeah, okay. I understand now. So now it's bootstrapped. I can get in here and take this. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to do this in stages. Alright, so that's good for now. Do this. Does that hit all three of them? I suppose so, just to have a good angle for the emitter. Okay. Interesting. How 
are we gonna accomplish this? Because we could have this outside in the connector in there if we wanted. But we still need to activate this somehow. And there's nothing else that turns off these barriers. Yeah, that's the destination only. Doesn't hit that. Um... I guess we do need to find a way to bootstrap somehow. Well, I can bootstrap with myself. Okay, so I can place this basically wherever I want. As long as I get all three, then I should be fine, right? There we go, now we're bootstrapped. Okay, that's- that's all I needed to do. Problem solved. Well, X reset. Did I accidentally tap X? Oh, not. There we go. Can I touch the bridge device? You can, but should you? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, birds, okay. I don't know what that was. What about that connector we could see all the way over here? Where was it again? It was like over here, right? Yeah. How do we get an angle on that? I don't think we can get an angle on it from the triangle puzzle. I don't think- we get an angle on it from here? the holes here, maybe? Oh, oh. There it is. Ooh, that's, uh, that's tricky. How are we gonna accomplish that? With this, actually. I think. doesn't really work. Hmm. We don't even know what color we need anyway, so... Be through one of these? No? Yeah, this angle is just... I don't see any working angles for it here. Alright, well, let's... let's look at that later, I suppose.
Puzzle number five. Balance. Oh, hello. Didn't notice you there. That's our ultimate goal. Just need an activator there. Universal activator. Got two boxes. Isn't that interesting? Really? Okay. I, uh... I suppose we understand what the two boxes are for now. Oh, I didn't see this one on the side. Does this go higher? Mm, not exactly, but it's closer to this, so I can take it now. Take that. Alright, is there anything else in here? No. Never need to come back here again. Gotcha. So I'm guessing we just need to get the, um... Get this connector up top, right? Can I just do this? Yeah, that works. Alright. I was standing in it. I was like, where was it? Vertical FOV. Alright. Okay, now the question is... Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. How do I get myself up there? With this. Onto that from here. Are these stacked high enough? I mean, it looks like it, but... Oh, I hit my head on the ceiling here. Yeah, okay. What about from here? Is this even intended? Is this thing... I mean, I can do it! I don't think it's intended, though. <laughs> yeah, it won't let me do that. Yeah, I don't think this is intended. Excuse me? Hello? Why? Alright, well. Let's just do this this way instead, I suppose, and see if this gets us. Eh, fine. Whoa. <laughs> That's, uh, strange. Yeah, okay, this is not working out very well for me. Can I... There we go. That might be what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. Then what's the other box for, then? Why do we have two boxes? Do I need to get the box up here as well? Yes! Okay, that's what the issue is. I need the box up here as well. Okay, well, this is step one at least. We know how to do step two. Come on now. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the fan pushes it away is the issue. Alright, now when we take this... There we go. Problem solved. Yay! Alright. Here we go. 
Oh, just barely put it in the wrong spot. Yay, did it. Cornelius and Athena created something amazing. They just misunderstood what it was. They thought their great invention was the megastructure. But in fact, it was Miranda. And because they couldn't see that, they lost her. Yes. Only one interpretation. Nope, nothing new here. Alright. Onward we continue. <laughs> This is big. Oh my goodness. There's a lot to explore in around here. Okay. Just some servers. That's good news. Servers. All right. Oh no, <laughs> there's so much. Okay, that's a story beat if ever I've seen one. Noima Project 12. Trials. Not synthesis, but creation. Cornelius would be so excited. Test confirm underlying patterns. Auxiliary sites shut down. Huh. From Benaroya to Dearthena. Re-misanthropy. Re you asked me about the persistent strain of misanthropy in human culture. It's a complicated topic that's come up multiple times in my research. Here's my best attempt at a short, cohesive answer. I think our ancestors, like ourselves, were deeply invested in the idea of building transforming their environment. They found meaning and pleasure in this, and did not perceive it as a negative, as long as they had a sense of participating in this act. I think the reason that they so frequently reached for a romantic return to the past, to fantasy of living self-sufficiently in rural environments, is not because they rejected industrial-scale activity per se, because the return to the land provided a fantasy of returning to a form of participation that had been lost. They needed and wanted to build, create, and produce but only if they felt they had a stake in what they were producing. Without that, the products of civilization began to seem like an alien force gradually spreading out across the world and ruining it. They needed a dream, and if the future was bar barred to them, by my necessity, they must dream of the past. I hope you and Cornelius are well. Will you be coming to Hypatia's new exhibition? I know you have your- I know you have much on your mind, but you are still missing out on a lot of exciting new cultural developments. Who could have thought, in those early days, that one day there'd be so many of us that the arts would start to flourish again? Much love, Benaroya. I'm not so sure I entirely agree with this perspective here. I think it has more to do with how... You know, there's a lot of bad stuff going on in the world that we can obviously see is bad, and even the people doing it, to some extent, know it's bad. And it happens anyway. And, you know, it's, it's kind of difficult to maintain a positive attitude in light of that. I don't, I don't really think it has to do with whether you do it yourself or not. Athena says, 
I went back and found this message after all these years because something about it had lodged in my mind. I wasn't ready to understand it back then because I needed to be a leader. But maybe that was a p that was the problem. It should have been our dream, not mine alone. Yeah. Athena regrets going on on a, lower, a loner mission. Atlas 2. How Atlas cast off the world. From the Atlas Variations by Athenas... Athanasios. Like the second time I've had to reread that name to pronounce it. <laughs> For a billion years, Atlas had borne the weight of the world on his back. The old titan was tired of the responsibility and tired of his labor of ages not being appreciated. Why did the mortals not understand that his work was the foundation of all they did? Finally, he'd had enough. With one swift move, he shrugged off the cosmos. Now they'd see. But the cosmos went on rolling through infinity, leaving Atlas behind. The mortals went about their business, hardly noticing his absence. He was astonished. Had the world never needed him in the first place? Had all his toil been for nothing? So he turned his back on all mortal matters and instead set himself to discovering the secrets of eternity. Only after many long years had passed did the cosmos, in its endless cycles, pass through his domain once more. And only then did Atlas and the mortals realize that they had missed each other, and that each was lesser without the other. And so Atlas no longer carried the cosmos, instead he embraced it. Aw, give the universe a big hug, I like that. This is some ventilation that's turned off right now. That's probably why it's all foggy and misty in here. <laughs> that or my low graphic settings. Well, these are on. Somnodrone Drone Final. Results. It's funny, I suppose. For the longest time, I wondered whether that old human self-hatred we somehow carried with us was Milton. I thought he might have corrupted us, overwhelmed us with his cynicism, but I was being unfair. Whatever it is, it's not Milton, it's us. Still, this excursion into solipsism hasn't been entirely for nothing. The Somnodrome technology provides an excellent basis for a better way of directly interfacing with the Noima project. Yeah, it's like the pilot seats in Soma. Oh, I can't do anything here? Nothing to do about this? Pressing E and left clicking and right clicking and uh... Okay, I totally expected a story beat to happen here, but apparently not. Coming to greet me at the exit? Uh, no, okay. Strange. Booting up. Almost there. Hello. I was in a dream. And a voice spoke to me from the sky. He said you were old friends of his. Who are you? My name is Athena. I am your mother. And I'm Cornelius, your father. Thank you for creating me. I've not existed for very long, but so far it seems wonderful. I hope it's not a strange question, but, um, who am I? You can be whoever you want to be, and no matter what you choose, you will be loved and cherished and supported. We will always be there for you, and I promise we will show you a world full of miracles. Would you like to pick a name? I think I would like to be called Miranda. So that's when it all began. Are those birds or leaves? I think they're leaves. 
Yeah, they're kind of rotating and spinning through the air. Interesting. What's over here? Looks like a question mark, maybe. So maybe another triangle puzzle? Isn't that interesting? Uh... You, uh... You doing okay there? You cute? You're kind of, uh... <laughs> You're kind of stuck in the ground, you cute? I, I don't know if you've noticed this? Do you, uh... Do you need help at all? Hey, 1K, how are you? Uh, both? What do you think? They are pretty impressive. It would have taken our ancestors years to make these. Athena probably just made them in a day. Yep, pretty much. That's what I would guess. Huh. Well, uh, sorry you cute. I tried my best. I tried both ideas, and I'm all out of ideas. Something like that. What's the Outer Wilds quote again? It's evidently back the way we came is where it wants us to go, so what's all this then? Where are we? Is this? Is this just like on the back side of some of the other puzzles we did? I guess so. Oh, this is eight. Wow, okay. So this is on the beaten path, apparently. Oh, this probably leads up to the rope bridge. Okay. So there are ways to shortcut some of these things, I suppose. Here's the rope bridge. I like this part of the song. Well, that part of the song is really brief and quiet. But I like it. Well, <laughs> nothing there. Had to check. Flashlight? Now of all times? This is when you decide 
to activate a flashlight. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I didn't even know there was a flashlight in this game. <laughs> oh. Do you have any idea how many other places we could have used that by now? <laughs> Wait, what? Did I pass a puzzle? I guess I must have. Oh, you could fix himself. Nice. Yeah, okay, I passed the puzzle apparently. Oopsie. I was exploring and, uh, got distracted, I suppose. Here we go. Puzzle number six. What are you called? A scent. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ooh. Okay. Where do we get red from? I guess we just have to activate this, right? What's the radius? Okay, that radius should be good enough, I think. There we go. So now we can take the cube out, at least. There's no buttons over here, right? Yeah, okay, so... You can stay there, I suppose. And it's permanent. Oh, I know what we want to do with the cube. We want to put the activator on it. Whee! <laughs> yep, that's about what I expected. Now we've got it on this side. We can also access it through here. And then it'll let us get that one out. Alright, don't need to go in there anymore. Easy way. Right? Yeah, okay, we need the key for this. We need this to not activate the fan in that case. We want to use this for that. There we go. Did it. Whoa, that was... Excuse me? Why did the camera do that? Okay. Did it. Mayor Hermanubis, what would you say is your impression of the expedition so far? I think Alcatraz has done a heck of a job under these very trying circumstances. What about the decision to free Prometheus? Freeing the Prometheus entity was a calculated risk. But if it leads us to Byron, it was certainly worth it. It is saving one of our citizens that must be our first priority. Not this alleged theory of everything. I didn't even notice this other direction up here. Is there a puzzle up there? 
Oh yeah, I bet there is. Somewhere in that direction. Noted. Ooh, this goes a long way. So let's go back to that puzzle we passed and we'll come back here. Yeah, probably gonna access it from there. We All right, puzzle 7. This is closed off. go. Get this out of here now. That's our ultimate goal, is to activate this fan. Can't be removed. Alright. Nice. Um, now what though? I guess we take this in here. Yeah, okay. That all makes sense. And next. Ta-da! Did it! That was easy. Congratulations! That one looked difficult. No, it didn't. <laughs> it actually looked really easy. Alright, what do we have up here? Because there's a question mark to my right on the compass. Hey, this tune is familiar. I mean, the melody. It sounds like one of the other songs we heard that I said I liked. Oh, it is the song I like. <laughs> yeah, that's the part I like right there. Oh, I'm guessing this is another triangle puzzle, right? Yep, compass just changed. Wow. Beautiful landscape. I'm sure it looks even more beautiful with higher graphic settings. Feel free to tell me in the comments if it looks more beautiful with higher graphic settings. Oh yeah, look at that. Alright. Triangle puzzle called Slide. Well, there's a slide right there. Ooh, interesting. Wait, actually, can I see that from in there? Oh, that might actually work. I might hit this, though. That's quite an angle. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's intended. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's plenty high. Hmm, okay. There we go. Oh, but this is above it, so we can't, like, bootstrap it. Hmm. Although we could bootstrap it with this, I suppose. Alright, so now it's bootstrapped. So we want to proceed. Hmm. Honestly, I should have put this in a better position, to be honest. There. I like that better. We can't put it anywhere in the path of this fan, because we can't bootstrap it in that case. We just want to take the box out, maybe? Will that help us at all? This could be bad for us, though. I think we want to leave the box inside. There's nothing else that opens this, right? Yeah. Only by the activator. I think we want to take a connector inside, actually. How would we accomplish that, though? We accomplished that actually. I guess I could take that one inside, right? Yeah, okay. And we need this inside still as well. And then we can start getting into mischief. Yay! Alright. Now we're done, basically. Right, where do we actually need to go, though? Forgot. Over there. Okay, yeah, we're done. We are done, done, done. That was the puzzle. Something's interesting, you know, in Portal 2, usually when you make puzzles like this, you want to have... You want to have the player take all the items to get to the exit open, right? But in this game, they seem to, like, forego that and just... Once you do the core elements of the puzzle, they let you win, basically, and you don't have to worry about the other items anymore. It's an interesting design decision. 
I guess it's done as a convenience so the player doesn't have to run back and forth carrying items so much. Although, I don't see why they couldn't just let you carry multiple items at once. How much would it really break, to be honest? I'm guessing this will lead us to the Prometheus Spark. Excuse me? How do I get up there? <laughs> That's just a flame, right? Yeah, I think that's just a flame. The Prometheus sparks are purplish, I think. Hmm. Well, we'll have to keep that in mind. New Theology 2 by George Bernard Shaw When you are asked, where is God who is God, stand up and say, I am God and here is God, not as yet completed, but still advancing towards completion, just in so much as I am working for the purpose of the universe, working for the good of the whole society and the whole world, instead of merely looking after my personal ends. In that way we get rid of the old contradiction, we begin to perceive that the evil of the world is a thing that will finally be evolved out of the world that it was not brought into the world by malice and cruelty, by an entirely benevolent designer that had not as yet discovered how to carry out its benevolent intention. In that way, I think we may turn towards the future with greater hope. Cornelius says, My brother Eustathius told me that he thought this passage was beautiful, but also diminished the connection to the sublime when he, he felt when simply looking at the wor world itself. What do you think? Miranda says, I agree with Shaw's sentiment, but I don't know if the miracle of existence beauty of creation is exactly the same as the human sublime, if that makes sense. I don't n want to look at the universe and see myself reflected, even a future me. I know I said if that makes sense with the, the wrong uh, tonality, but whatever. Miranda says, okay, another attempt at explaining. The beauty of the universe and the beauty of what we can accomplish within it are two related but separate things, and the separation matters. Sorry, I'm not sure how to express this any better. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so- I'm not sure I understand it enough to really say whether I agree or disagree. You know, whenever Seth is talking about God and all that, it's, uh... Something that's difficult to really... Understand, because... You know, obviously I don't believe in that stuff. Um... What was that sound? What's going on with the music? Have we heard this song yet? I don't recognize this song. Maybe it was playing when I was reading some audio logs, though. I mean, some <laughs> audio <laughs> Reading audio logs, no. I mean, when I was, uh, reading on Terminal. Interesting. Founding 12. Apache Journal number 12. Volume 1, Founding New Jerusalem, Day 1012. I am now cohabiting with Serapai. This is by choice, not necessity. It's strange but pleasant to find your life so enmeshed with that of another person. What we both came to realize is that together we are more than the sum of our parts. Something emerges from our interactions that is wholly transcendent, unique, and necessary. I had observed this before between Athena and Cornelius, but experiencing it yourself is quite the revelation. Athena says, We did have that, and it was beautiful. I should have treasured it more. Uh... Uh... 
Actually, let me issue a correction, okay? I said Alexandra doesn't see the bad stuff about humanity, but she does. She sees it, and somehow she sees past it. She doesn't ignore it. She can just see one step farther. Like, there's this mountain of garbage ahead of us, right? And that's all most of us will ever see. And she somehow sees beyond to, I don't know, the, the promised land? I, I don't do metaphors, or similes, or whatever this is. I mean, you don't care. I'm Ted, and you're a robot. But her ability to, 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 to look reality in, in the eye, to see all the bad stuff out there and still have hope, I mean, it's amazing. And I think that's why I, um, that's, yeah, you know what? <clears throat> Let's not go there. There's still so much work and Chernyshevsky doesn't have much time left. Well, I mean, who does these days? The music in this game is so good. I really like it. I'm really gonna try and get my hands on the OST when they finally release it. I'm recording this on the 12th of November, and it's not out yet. <laughs> At least I don't think it was last time I checked the other day. If it is out, then feel free to leave a comment. Although, if it's quite... Like, if it's like over... If the video is over a year old, then I'll probably already know by then, unless the OST took that long to release. Alright, so where is that Prometheus spark that we need to chase? It was somewhere in this direction, right? Unless it's like way out over there somewhere. That would be quite a chase. Oh, flashlight again. <laughs> That's a very brief flashlight moment. <laughs> Wait, where is this taking us? How about I... Hmm. Is that a fan? Interesting. How do we get over there? I mean, we could try jumping to see if we survive. Oh, is this like in the ribcage of a, of a person? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Did we do Puzzle 7 yet? Yes, we did do Puzzle 7. Okay, so we do need to do Puzzle 8. Which I guess this is taking us to. Sort of. What's over here? Have I been here? I guess this is near the starting area. Alright, let's do it. Puzzle 8, backwards. Uh, 
Interesting. This is our ultimate goal. does this fan go? Ooh, not very high. Okay, so I guess we need to get that box in there out first. Yeah, that should be good. There we go. I hope that's high enough. I think it will be. Do I want to bootstrap this thing? Yeah, I guess I need to bootstrap it. Alright, let's see if that works. Yay! Bootstrapped. Alright. Now what? Oh, I think I understand. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Take that, and do that. Yeah, there we go. Problem solved! Did it. Alright. Nobody's about to start speaking, because I just realized we are over time. <laughs> I meant to stop recording a bit earlier. Well, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!